what is long and what is round best wishes dear students i hope you are in the best of your spirits and must be studying very well today we shall study chapter 1 of class 2 the title of this chapter is what is long long and what is round As the name suggests, we shall study about long and round things in this chapter. Long things like pencil, carrot, and pipe, and round things like a ball, let do, and lemon. So let's start. Once there lived an uncle named Miku. Miku uncle was loved by children, and Children and uncle used to play together. One day children were playing in the garden. Suddenly they saw Miku uncle coming. The children got very happy to see him. They said, "Hey, look! Miku chacha has come and has brought a bag full with him." The uncle asked children if they all were well and good. One of the children asked, "What have you brought in this bag, uncle?" Miku said, "There are many type of things in this bag." Children Children became very happy. They said, "Yes, yes, please, please show us." Miku said, Yes, I will show one by one. Not like this. I will put my hand in the bag and I'll tell something about that particular thing like how does this thing feel like? You will have to guess what thing is. So, dear children, be ready. Children became very very happy and replied, "Yay! Yay! Let's start!" Miku asked the children to make two teams of four children each. Uncle puts his hand inside the bag and team A sings a song. Find out with your eyes shut well. Touch it with your hands and tell. Tell us, tell us how it feels. We guess its name and win the game. Uncle, close your eyes. Touch and guess and tell us how that thing feels to touch. Then we shall guess its name and this way we shall win this game. Miku uncle said pointed at one end flat at the other but round like a pipe guess what it is the uncle is telling the students that one end of this thing seems pointed and the other feels flat and this thing is round like a pipe so children think and tell what this could be the children of team a replied pencil this is because one end of pencil is round and one end when the pencil is sharpened is pointed can there be some other answer to this yes The other answer could be a pen. Miku Chacha said, "Okay kids, now you play like this." One child asked, "Uncle, can we also put some things inside this bag to play?" Miku uncle replied, "Yes, definitely. Why not?" Then children blindfolded the eyes of one boy and started playing the blindfold activity. It is team A's turn now to feel and guess. They 
sung. Tell us, tell us how it feels. We guess its name and win the game. A child from team A puts his hand in the bag. Others in team A have to guess. Come, let's help them in finding out. The one whose eyes have been blindfolded sings. Round all round has no corners. I can roll it in my hand. Guess what it is. This means this thing is something that is round and round from all the sides. This has no corner or either a point. It's all the sides are round and round. It can be rolled and also rotated in our hands. So children, tell what this could be. Yes, the answer to this is a ball. A ball is completely round from all the sides. Neither it has a corner nor a point. It can be rolled as well as slided. Now that child puts his hand in the bag again and says, It is long and it is round. One corner flat and one corner round. I can hold in my hand or hang in my neck. It holds drinking water, now you guess. This means that the child is talking of something which is long as well as round. And we can hold it in hands or we can also hang it in our necks. It is used for drinking water and we can hang in the neck and can also go to school. So, you must have guessed by now. Yes, correct. That thing is your water bottle. That we usually hang in our neck and go to our schools. After this, all the children sat in a circle and started playing another game. The name of this game is Hurry up, be quick. What is long? What is round? Hurry up! Say, say, say! Be quick! Say, say, say! So, one girl replies. A bat is long, a ball is round. Hurry up! Say, say, say! Be quick! Say, say, say! All the children sung. What is long? What is round? Hurry up, say, 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 be quick, say, say, say. Another girl says, A bottle is long, a cap is round, look around, look around. Hurry up, say, 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 be quick, say, say, say. Then all the children sing again. You also sing with us? Come on, let's join. What is long? What is short? Hurry up! Say, say, say! Be quick! Say, say, say! So, one boy says, Cucumber is long, tomato is round. Look around, look around. Hurry up! Say, say, say! Be quick! Say, say, say! Then all the children sang again. What is long? What is round? Hurry up! Say, say, say! Be quick! Say, say, say! Stick is long, orange is round. Look around, look around. Hurry up! Say, say, say! Be quick! Say, say, say! Then all the children sing and you also can join us. What is long? What is round? Hurry up! Say, say, say! Be quick! Say, say, say! And uncle sings. Pole is long, sun is round. Look around, look around. 
hurry up. Say, say, say. Be quick. Say, say, say. And like this, the children happily closed this game. So children, now you can play with me and tell me the names of these things. Okay, tell me the names of four round things. Hurry up, be quick, hurry up, hurry up. Yes, very good, excellent. Now see what did I thought. I thought of sun, tomato, plate, chapati. I repeat, sun, tomato, plate, chapati. Isn't it an interesting game? Now you tell the names of some long things. Oh great, you all are very intelligent. Now listen to the names I thought of. A bottle, a stick, a bat and a pipe. I repeat, a bottle, a stick, a bat and a pipe. After this, we shall talk about two pointed objects. Now you tell me two pointed objects that you know Okay, good. Nail and needle. <gasps> Remember, you are not supposed to play with these pointed things. These are very sharp and may hurt you. So, you have to stay away from these. This means you do not have to touch these things at all. Now tell me two flat things that you know. Very good. A book, a math stick box. Now we shall talk about some things that can be rolled and those that can be slided. When we push a thing, we say we are sliding it and that thing moves. When we do that to a chair, the chair is displaced or slided. As we can pull it, towards us or push it away from us and rolling is when we push a thing once and it keeps on moving by itself like a ball means round things roll and flat things slide very good so there are some things which can roll and some things which can slide and you know there are also some things which can roll as well as they can slide also. Things always roll over slippery platforms and things are usually slided over rough surfaces. Which of these two things can be rolled or slided? Write in different columns. So look at these things carefully. A ball, a box, an almirah. A laddu, a shoe, an orange, a cylinder, a table, a chair, a bottle. Now look here. Write the names of the things that can be slided and write the names of the things that can be rolled on the other side of this column. Now look. I have written the names of the things that can be slided here, like this. A box, an almirah, a shoe, a table and a chair. And the things that appear to me that can be rolled have been written here. A ball, a laddu, an orange, a cylinder and a bottle. Now put long things in the red box and round things in the yellow box. So look carefully and put them in different boxes. Put long things in red box and round things in yellow box. Carefully listen. A bat, a flute, a pencil, a god, a cucumber, banana, that you all like a lot, right? 
See, guava, which is so good for your health. A ball of wool. A tomato. A watermelon. A lemon. Pipe. An orange. So, let's get ready. Think what all will you put in this red box and what all will you put in this yellow box? Good. Yes, I waited. So, let's check out what all has come in my red box and what all in the yellow box. Good. Yes. I waited. So let's check out what all has come into my red box. Look! A bat, a flute, a pencil, a cucumber, a stick, banana and a pie. And now look at my yellow box. A gawa, a ball, a ball of wool, a tomato, a watermelon, a lemon and an orange. Very good. You have done this job very well. Now fill in this box. What is long? What is dash? What will come here in this dash? Think, think, think. Very good. Round. Okay, so it is what is long and what is round. A stick is long, dash is round. What is it? Excellent! Very good! A ball. A stick is long, a ball is round. So these were the lines of the songs that the children were singing. So these were like this. Let's sing again. What is long? What is round? A stick is long and a ball is round. Now you have to fill these blanks also. So let's start. A tomato is usually of dash shape. Yes, you're right. Round in shape. The bottle can be dash. Your options are rolled or slided. Hurry up, think, think, think. Yes, the bottle can be rolled because it is round in shape. So, yes, you can roll a bottle. Your next sentence is, the plate can be of both shapes, dash and flat. Guess? Exactly, you guessed it right. The plate can be both round and flat in shape. This is why we can slide and roll the plate both ways. The bat is dash in shape, long or round? Yes, the bat is long in shape. Now you match these things with their shapes. Look carefully. First of all, bamboo, then ball, then here is a box and lastly, here we have a needle. On the other side, their shapes are written in jumbled order. Let's read. Sharp, long, round and flat. So think, what's the shape of bamboo here? Right, it's long. So, the bamboo is long. Let's join these two. Now, look at the ball. How does it look like? Exactly, it's looking round in shape. So match the ball with round shape. Now look at this box. How does its sides look like to you? Correct. It is looking flat from all the sides. So let's match it with flat. Ouch! Needle! Be careful, it's very sharp. So let's match needle with sharp. Hey children, it was a wonderful experience. I kept on playing and exploring shapes and sizes. It was very entertaining. 
and learning was so much fun. I hope you too enjoyed as much as I did. So think, what are you going to play next time and look around at all the objects around you. Think, how do they look like? Would they slide or would they roll? Till the next meet, bye bye dear children.